Well, she was one of Hollywood's original blonde bombshells with roots here in our region. Today marks the 50th anniversary of the death of Jane Mansfield. WFMZ's Bo Colt now is at her grave site in Penargel, Northampton County, where some local fans commemorated her death. Bo? Wendy, all day long we have seen people come here commemorating the gravesite of Jane Mansfield. She's surrounded by family in a family plot. Now, Mansfield was born in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, but she spent a good part of her childhood here in Penargel, and her impact was worldwide. She was like a Michael Jackson or a Madonna or, you know, a, a one-name star all over the world. Born Vera Jane Palmer, Mansfield was one of Hollywood's original blonde bombshells and left a lasting imprint on not only pop culture, but also the arm of New Jersey's Frank Ferruccio. I can identify with the point or the dream aspect of wanting to be famous and she wanted to be famous more than anything in the world. Ferruccio, who's written two books and made a movie about her life, often decorates and takes care of Mansfield's Penargel grave. And on the 50th anniversary of her death, so too did Sherry Eberizzi. People still do come by and leave little trinkets and flowers and stuff, so her memory has definitely not been forgotten. Mansfield died on a Louisiana highway in the early morning hours of June 29, 1967, when her Buick, carrying her three children, slammed into and under the back of a tractor trailer. This was her house? Yes, this was the house that uh, Jane's uh, grandparents built. Mansfield was in nearly 30 films and appeared in Playboy magazine 30 times. But Ferruccio says she never forgot where she came from. She would stand on the porch and she would sign the autographs one by one. And sometimes the line would go all the way down on the sidewalk and she would never turn anybody away. Ferruccio says Mansfield Mansfield love of the limelight overshadowed a deeply layered woman. She had a genius level IQ, could speak five languages fluently, and became famous for playing a dumb blonde. And in that car accident, all three adults were killed, but Mansfield's children did survive. Now, this here is a bouquet that was sent by Jane Mansfield's family. And as for Frank, he tells me that he already bought a grave plot, literally feet away from the grave. So although he didn't know Jane Mansfield in life, he will certainly be close to her in death. Live here in Penargel, Bo Colt now, 69 News. All right, thank you, Bo. And